Hello guys, welcome to Daily Tech. Samsung has added a very interesting uh, feature to the sound assistant, which is which is one of the modules in GoodLock. Now, if you've not used GoodLock before, it's quite easy to do, and it is also dependent on your region, right? So if you went into your Galaxy App Store and you searched for GoodLock, I made a mistake with my spelling there, but uh, if you search for Good, GoodLock, it will pop up and this is it all you have to do is download and install once you've done that okay then you can then open it up and once you open it up we're looking for a sound assistant your sound assistant will be in your life up okay so you're going to need to download and install sound assistant so here we have the sound assistant which has been updated to version 5.1.006 and here you have the sound assistant which has not been updated yet so the good thing is once you jump in here you'll be able to see the updates section there if it's not been updated so i'm just going to open it up and show you what version this is right there this is version 4.5.002 once it's done updating you will now have this function right here jump into it and then tap on make your own custom panel colors now as you can see here this looks pretty cool to be fair because now it's on zero and you know it goes like a speedometer it is something different right now the moment you jump into it it's not going to look like this let's start with the bar and this is what it looks like okay so from the get-go once you toggle this on or jump into your flex volume ui you get the lightning effects and this is where you get to choose whatever lightning effects you want as you can see the variety of lightning effects to choose from which is pretty pretty good now if you get to the next one you've got texture you've got the mesh and you've got the acrylic i prefer the acrylic so i stayed with the acrylic all right and the next one is your control type now before we go to the control type let's go down a bit because this allows you to change the shape of this volume button so if i press this it's a bit big now for this size of a display it's fair point but if you had it but if you've got this a smaller display right and you press this button you don't want it taken over almost a good size of your screen all right so that is massive for me that is too massive so i can just go back in here so too big let me choose that shape as you can see it's a good reflection this and this so you know what it's going to look like okay and you've got the, the shortest one the peel shape and the smaller design you've got the this you've got this and you've got this now i've utilized quite a few of these i think i'm getting tired of the peel shape or the bar shape or whatever you call it and we would like to i would prefer this knob for a bit okay so now i'm going to jump into the knob and then let's start with this in the knob you get two shapes the larger shape and then the smaller shape this is what the smaller shape looks like and this is what the larger shape looks like which is good okay i'm gonna stick with the smaller shape thank you and then if you come here you still get the options of texture which is acrylic and the mesh which is good and then let's come here and you get the options for your lighting and effects as you can see that is my lighting effect so when i want to use a volume button i just press on it and this is called the flex volume ui now so once we know about this um, flex volume ui it's to be good for you to know about something else which was previously available but i think it might it be useful for some of you who might not have known about this okay so when you're in your sound assistant right at the stop here you've got this customized volume panel okay so right now when you click on your volume button you see these three dots at the top right if you were to tap on it it opens up something different then when you in your sound assistant and you click on customize volume panel it allows you to do quite a few things here with this volume panel right there so uh, mine is turned on because <laughs> i utilize it and then if you come here you've got custom you need to tap on custom and when you tap on custom it allows you to do quite a few things with your volume button okay the floating button here once you tap on it allows you to pull up your volume button without needing to hit the volume keys right there so you just tap on it and it pulls up your volume button and you get to do what you want with your volume button 
If you're left-handed and you wanted your volume button to pull up on the left every time you pressed it, then the good way to do it would be to tap on this layout left, this layout right, and tap on it to change to the left. Now you're probably thinking, my volume button is on the right and my volume icon popping up on the left is not useful to me. What you can then do is come to this floating button and tap on it. If the floating button is still on the right, all you have to do is tap on floating button sync position and wherever you move that volume button to, the floating button will move to that location. Okay, and then if you tap on move, it allows you to move your volume button to wherever you need it to go. Right? As you can see, if you want to bring it lower here, you can, and that is the highest it will go. And this also applies to wherever you have it on the left hand side. So now what, what I've just been explaining, it was just about this volume button right here. So now we tap on the expanded panel and it takes us to this section right here, which is this section, expanded panel, okay. All right, and in this expanded panel, you have the app volume. This app volume here is a pretty useful feature for me, which is why I leave it on. And the reason being is it separates the volume of whichever specific app you're currently in from your phone's volume, right? So if I was to be playing this game right, you can hear the sound. I don't want this sound, okay? I just need a little bit of peace just to play the game. All I can do is press the volume button, tap on this, and you now have this app's volume right here. So I don't actually need to reduce my phone's volume. I could just keep my phone's volume right here, even at the highest if I wanted to, yeah? And just drop this down. And what it does is it remembers this. So I don't, next time I jump into this app, I do not have to do anything because it remembers that I wanted this app's volume to remain at 0%, which is pretty, pretty useful. All right, so let's see the next thing on our list right here. Okay, so you've got the show toolbar functions, which is these toolbar functions at the bottom, which is useful if you want it. And if you don't want it, you can leave it, but I tend to use it because I like to jump into um, captions or switch between switch the Bluetooth between my phone and the Bluetooth earpiece. The Bluetooth metronome, Bluetooth metronome allows you to sync the audio and the video together. You know, you sometimes you use some Bluetooth earpiece and the audio lags, right? You get either the audio is either ahead or before. What this does is it allows you to use your Bluetooth metronome to try and sync that audio. Um, with the video. It, you will need to connect it to a Bluetooth um, device for you to be able to utilize it. So, got something connected here. Let's see. Okay, so that is connected. Then let's tap on that. And now it's now, you can now use it to either pull the audio back or push the audio ahead to match with the video which you are currently watching. I did a video um, explaining this sound assistant in a bit more detail. I'll leave a link to this, to that video, just so we don't make this video a bit too long as well. So when you're done with this, jump into the next video and um, see what the voice changer can do. And also, or, and also turn it on for yourself and experience it a little bit.